We've had a severe inflation problem for over a year now, and we've spent the last six months worrying about a recession. So why the heck isn't gold doing better? Gold. For ages, gold was widely seen as a stable store of value, the perfect insurance against inflation or any other kind of turmoil in the markets. And we have a ton of it, right? I've always said you should position gold, still do, or one of the best gold miners as an insurance policy. Yet the price of gold has been awful over the past few months, and it's barely up versus where it was trading a year ago. We've seen similarly lackluster performance from the stock of Kramer Fave Barrick Gold, which was created a few years ago from the merger from Old Barrick with Rangold Resources. Hey, do not get me wrong. Barrick hasn't done badly. The stock's up 3% for the year, trouncing the broader averages. But you'd think all things gold would be on fire right now, given we've got rampant inflation and a collapse in every kind of speculative asset. The conventional money management wisdom says this situation should be nirvana for a gold miner. Maybe gold's negativity has foreshadowed uh, the new J tough guy pal that we saw today. Wouldn't that be something? Look, when you think about what's gone wrong with gold, uh, this could be the perfect time to get some exposure to the precious metal. Why? Because what went wrong for gold was the rise of cryptocurrency. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.